So I started attending Cedar Creek when I was a little kid in the kids area. I came with my mom and dad. Um, I, we didn't exactly attend every single weekend, but I would still consider us regulars. And so I've been coming on and off ever since then. And I really didn't have a relationship with Jesus. I still, I, I knew who God was, but I didn't personally understand him as a being. But junior year of high school, my mother was diagnosed with cancer. And that threw my whole life out of loop. I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. I missed over half of like my high school junior year because I just, I couldn't wake up. I would cry, I wouldn't eat. I was an absolute mess. And I just, I remember myself asking God why. Why would you do this to my mom? Why would you put me through this? Like my, my high school experience is getting ruined. I was very sick my senior year and I didn't know why. I was sleeping like 18 hours a day. I constantly had to go to the bathroom like every 30 minutes. I was delirious. I just, I wasn't me. So my mom finally took me to the doctor. They did some blood work, a urine sample, all that fun stuff. Only to find out that my blood sugar was 300. I got admitted to the hospital instantly. And for the average person, their blood sugar should be between 80 and 120. And if it's anything above 120, I would send them straight to the hospital. My blood sugar was averaging 600 for a month straight. and. If that would happen to anyone else, they would have went into ketoacidosis and probably died. I never went into ketoacidosis, and I'm not sure how. I can only really thank God for that, and I can only thank God to even be alive at this point. But again, I went through that loophole, and I'm like, God, why would you do this to me? Like, I don't understand why you do this to me. My mom has cancer. I'm in the hospital with type 1 diabetes all in the span of a year. Like, how could you do this to me? Like. My high school experience, my early adult years, is getting ruined. And right after I got diagnosed, I got sent home, and I was just had to figure out how to live, all my devices, how to figure out my sugar, how to stay alive. There were so many incidences where my blood sugar would drop, and I really, like, I had to fight to keep my eyes open because I was scared I was going to go into a coma. And I still have those moments, and it's terrifying. It's terrifying for my parents because seeing their daughter's blood sugar at 40, at 3 in the morning, is terrifying. And I'd, it's not that I, I didn't want to die. I loved life. But I didn't have a reason to get up every morning, if that makes sense. So my dad finally was like, all right, let's get up. You're coming to church. I, haven't been, I didn't attend church for quite a while because I just I didn't have that relationship with God. And my dad's part of the dream team, he's on security and he's a greeter. And he forced me, he quite literally drugged me through the doors of the church at seven in the morning to see what he does. I walked in in sweatpants, a sweatshirt, no makeup. I looked like I crawled out of bed because I did. I, cr I kept crying while my dad was walking around showing me what he's doing. And I'm embarrassed honestly that people saw me that way. And I was probably that way for about a month. And one day, I told myself, I'm like, you know what? You're gonna get up early, you're gonna get clothes on, you're gonna do your makeup, and you're gonna fake it till you make it. You're gonna put a smile on your face, and you're gonna fake it. And I did. I put makeup on, I did my hair, I got ready, and I faked the smile. And about halfway through the morning, it wasn't fake anymore. That fake smile honestly turned into a real smile. I'm like, oh my gosh, this place is amazing. And I was happy for the first time, and I couldn't even tell you how long. So I decided to do growth track. And I went through Growth Track with Rick and Ryan, and they're the best people ever. I absolutely love them. Um, they took me through Growth Track, and I really, I just felt God in, in me and through me, through Growth Track. Everything that I did in Growth Track just spoke so much to me. So when we did our spiritual gifts assessment, which I believe was on week three, it was kind of crazy to see how well my results matched up with how, or who I thought I was as a person. Um, Taking that test and really just going through my top five was like, holy cow, like, this is me. Like, this is exactly who I am as a person. And I think it really just hit home, like, God is showing me, like, I know you. I know who you are without you even realizing it. And I think that really just showed me all my gifts and what God put me here for. And that he put me here to make more disciples of his and just to be my bubbly self and show people to Jesus. I'm just, I'm so, I'm such a happy person. My mom is cancer free. Of course I still have diabetes, that's not gonna go away, but I have learned to cope with it so well and I have so many supporters that help me get through it. And I'm happy in, in this single era of my life, I'm learning who I am as a person. 
I couldn't even fathom if you told me two years ago that this version of Sarah existed. I wake up every morning excited to start a new day. And the only reason for that is God. <laughs>